need to learn how to talk to a lady. Today is demo day. We are taking things down in the garage and they're also putting up the frame. So let me show you guys what's happening so far. Look at our garage. And right behind us is all the mess that was inside the garage. They moved that out in a matter of like 30 minutes this morning. All right, so here's our garage right now. We have this side that we're gonna keep for storage and this side over here, that's gonna be our office space. So I'm so, so excited. We have our contractor, Greg here, if I could find him. There he is, say hello. That's Greg, our contractor. And then this is his team right here. Hi everybody. They're awesome. Look at how quickly they're working. So we had a mold issue on our walls. So they have just treated the mold. They cut out the old drywall. They're gonna put in um, new insulation, new drywall. So all the mold is gonna be cleaned out. And I think they're also gonna put up this wall today, but we'll see what happens. So today's day one and all this is gonna be done in just seven days. Seven days. All right, so back here, this used to be a really random spot. I don't know why they had a little part of it that sticks out. Is it? Yeah, it was like a little shed, but it was completely just molded and nasty. So we got rid of it and they're just gonna have it match up with the rest of the walls. I don't know construction terms. I don't know what this means, but we have a new frame right now. We're gonna have new drywall, so I'm really excited about that. And we're taking out these old windows right over here on this side, if you guys can kind of visualize what's going on. So there's gonna be a wall right here. And over there, he's already cutting out our new window. So there's gonna be a huge window there, gonna let in a lot of natural light, and it's gonna be beautiful. The garage is really old, or our home is really old, and the structure of it was just kind of like falling apart, and it wasn't built perfectly. So right over here on this corner, this is where all the water would come in. The water would collect here, and all of it would just come in, flood the entire side of um, the garage on this side. So that's how um, all the moisture got in, and then the mold just formed over time. So I'm really excited, we're gonna put in a drainage system here so next time it rains because we know that the water comes from this side um, all the water is going to be collected into the drain and then pumped out so that it will no longer damage our garage right over here we're also cleaning this up and then we're going to stucco all this side you guys will see at the end it's going to be beautiful but I, I don't know what they did here i don't know what they were trying to achieve here with the the ship lap and then the stucco just smashed on top of it not really sure what this was about but all this is going to go we're even gonna do new paint color. It's just gonna get a full makeover. All right, so behind us, as you guys can see, this is an old garage door that's right here. We were debating if we should keep the garage door, but then we decided that it would just be nice if we turned it into like an actual office feeling space. So we're getting rid of the door, we're adding stucco to the side, and then we're gonna add a single door onto this side for the entrance. Oh, what else do I have to say? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So we're going to stucco the side of it and then on the right side, that's where we will add a door and a cute little porch light. Two hours later. Wow. It has been about two hours since the last clip. They already have a wall up. Broke out that nasty wall. It's just going. They are moving so quickly. This is where the window is going to be. That's the window we will be using. This is an old window that used to be in the house and we saved it so that we can use it here. Okay, so that was day one. We did framing and demo and today is day two. Let's see what we have going on. Hello everyone. It looks like we have our insulation going up. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hello, how's it going in here? Well, good morning. Good morning. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. So what do we have here so far? So far, we have This is uh, Greg, by the way. You guys met him yesterday. Hi. This is our contractor. How are you doing? So what do we have going on? Well, we got the so wall far. built so far. Okay, and, uh, looks great. We got the exterior wall, the doors right here. Yep. Door. 
These are studs, two by four. It's almost a double wall. So this is our junction box. A junction box is the, uh, the electrical. We're, our main electrical is coming in through here and the, all the electrical is gonna start from here and then we start feeding it wherever you need it. The white wires right here are only used for uh, lighting. Switches and lighting, that's all. That's all they're used for is switches and lighting. Ran electrical, one plug here, one plug here, one plug in the back. Perfect. Two plugs on the wall. We put a brand new window. Brand you know, new, <laughs> brand new. All brand new for us. Yes, all brand new. Yeah, so the insulation's gonna, like the um, the noise canceling's gonna be really good, huh? Because exactly. there's double. Yeah, that's awesome. Why we're putting, uh, insulation. Amazing. In walls. So yeah. we almost got it. We all got it framed. So we're gonna be drywalling and skin coating today. Okay. And here we're putting recess lights. Awesome. It looks great. Cool. Yeah, I love it. I was worried about the lighting at first, but now that they've put up the wall, it actually still feels really nice and bright in here. So, exactly. yeah. Going right here, we have a frame. We have this frame of a 36 inch door, and it's gonna be a glass door coming in like this. And two by fours, we have a mud seal, which is green wood going on cement. Uh, and then we got two by fours every 16 inches on center. By code, you have to do them every 16 inches on center. Again, the plugs, that's for the yellow wires, are gonna be the recessed lights. And then we have, again, insulation for all the exterior walls. And we're still thinking about the floor, what we're gonna do with the floor. We on this floor. Okay. And then we can clean it, we can light sand it, and we can stain it if you want, and okay. leave it that look. Or if not, we can put something on top of it. But I think we can make it look really nice, yeah. this floor. Right. But that's up to you guys. Okay. Right. Did you want to take a peek of inside? I do. All right, we're going to take a peek at the other side of our garage. So this side, we're going to keep it as just like a garage space. We're going to use it for storage, while obviously the other side is for our office. It looks so much better than before. It looks like a brand new garage. Brand new garage. <laughs> when we first moved in here, all this was just mold. And now it looks like a brand new garage. <laughs> Good morning everybody! Today is day three of renovation. So we are almost halfway through the entire process. As you can see behind me, it is going. I just woke up to this and I feel like we're gonna get through a lot today. So I'm really excited to show you guys what they have so far. So come with me. Let's see how it's looking. Oh my goodness. So it looks like they've already put in all the lights or it's going in. Everything is wired and the walls are all smooth. Looking beautiful. The door's installed. This wasn't here yesterday. So they put the door on. Just to give you guys a look. We wanted to go with a door like this so that it just lets in a lot of natural light. And it looks really great. Our windows in. All right, let's go back outside. We were gonna do stucco on this wall just so that it matches the rest of the house. We have a Spanish um, 1920s house. So we wanted to keep the original character as much as possible. So we're gonna stucco this side of the wall and it's gonna look really good. Let's go in. So what is happening over here, Greg? What is this? Hi again. Hello. <laughs> of course, we have a 36 inch door. Beautiful. It's all leveled and nice. Wow, that looks so That's good. That's a right hand door. And then we have some of the stucco trim on here. Uh huh. Then we what are, what is this stuff? These are nails. These are nails to hold the oh. lamp. Oh. Okay, so what we did is we put plywood, then we put paper starting from the bottom, and then you overlap it on top and overlap it so when the water comes down, uh -huh. it doesn't go inside. Oh. And then right here, we're going to have a light. A beautiful shiny light. Beautiful shiny light. <laughs> and in here we're almost done. Oh, oh yeah, let's check out the other side of our garage. Wow! Again, we're, we're just uh, gonna sand it down and try yep. to finish going today. It is so smooth. This I could we could honestly have another room in here. 
<laughs> it's so clean and nice. It feels like we moved into a brand new house. Okay, now on to some fun stuff. We have to pick out our paint color. So you guys can see here, we have our trim. That's still white right now, but we wanna add some color and this is also gonna be the same color we're gonna use around the office. So what do you guys think? We're in between either more of like a terracotta shade or like a mint blue teal type of situation. I think they both regardless will look really good, but now it just comes down to what we want and what we foresee us loving for years to come. So what do you guys think? Comment down below which color you think we should go with and wait for the big reveal at the end. All right, so we pretty much came down to two colors and that would be, what, what's the name of it, babe? This is Oxide. Oxide or? Or Track Green. Track Green. But then I thought that the green in the winter may not look that... Um, happy? I don't know, yeah, happy. Like, it, it might be a little too cold um, or too cool. So then we decided on the warmer tone, oxide. So, mm -hmm. what do so you guys think? it just think? feels more inviting, huh? Yeah. I think this is going to be timeless. Well, I think both of them will be pretty timeless. But then this one will always be more of a happy shade to mm -hmm. look at. And it'll fit the Spanish look of our house, too. Yeah. Like. Okay. Oxide it is! Hey guys, I'm back and we are on day four of the garage flip or conversion renovation, whatever you want to call it. And I miss the guys this morning. They've been working hard. We were out all day, so I just came back and it is such a surprise because even though we're just on day four out of seven, I really think that they're gonna finish on either day six or even possibly tomorrow. They have just been working so fast and it looks so good. So let me show you real quick what it looks like. Let's start off with the entrance. As you guys can see, the stucco is looking real, real smooth. The door is installed. As you guys saw, it's been installed since yesterday. And now let's go inside. First up, let me show you guys the window. We have our frame in. They put in the frame. I asked that they put a little ledge over here so that I could probably put like little succulents along the side. So this looks great. Also matches the inside of our house. And the insulation in here feels really good. Last night when I walked in here, it was pretty cold outside. But when I came in, this room was pretty warm. So I'm really excited about just how cozy this space feels, especially because our guests will be coming over and they'll be sleeping in here. It's gonna feel really nice and cozy. And they did the paint, but I believe this is just primer. I think they did the primer. We love white walls, so we're just keeping it a white color, just like the inside of the house. I think they're gonna work on flooring maybe tomorrow, but they also today framed the door on the inside. So that's gonna be painted white. And then this main door, we're planning to paint it a really pretty terracotta type of color, just to go with the Spanish vibes of the house. But so far, this is what we have, and it looks really good. We have six recessed lights. They're controlled over here, obviously, and they're gonna be dimmable, which is nice. And we also have another switch, which is going to be for our porch light. Hi, everybody. We are on day five of our gun garage. Gun garage. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are on day five of our garage flip or conversion, whatever you wanna call it. I think we're pretty much there. We're pretty much there. Let me give you guys a little tour of what's happening right now. So they have already painted the walls. We did the same white color as inside the house so that everything just matches. What color is this? I'm sure someone would ask. Ultra white. Ultra white. Yeah. But it's a very beautiful bright white. I thought it fit the studio space because we want the space to feel light and airy and inviting. So we also have our window frames in. Looks like they're gonna probably paint this tomorrow. It looks primed already. Looks yes. great. This also matches the inside of the house. So we have the same style inside. And what's happening to, oh, we talked about the recess lights already. So that's in, got six of them, nice and bright in here. And I think- We're working on the plugs right now. This oh, is the okay. last plug that we're put, on, put in. Great, we have one, two, three, four, five, five of them. Lots of outlets in here. And then I believe tomorrow is a holiday. And then by Tuesday, we're gonna have the flooring go in exactly. and yeah. we'll be done. Mm -hmm. Exactly on day seven. Yep. What you got there, Greg? This is a tester and we test this like this. When you push, you always put it in a small one. 
Oh. That's showing that all of the plugs are done. I see. And so what I'm going to do too is I'm going to piggy bag and get one of these to give you another plug on the other side. So I'll make sure that you have a plug. These are working. Uh -huh. But then we're going to put another plug on the other side. So just in case you need something to plug oh, in, okay. maybe I'll do two. So okay. we'll have two plugs on that side. Oh, great. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. I can charge my car. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> just a piece of wood. I'm going to take it out and patch it for you guys. Okay, thank okay. you. And then that crack, we're going to have to fix. I'm going to put yes. some silicone or something special in there. Okay. Some epoxy because water might go in there. Uh-huh. Um, would you be able to remove this as well? I'm not really sure what this is. <laughs> well, it's, this oh. can be, well, this, uh, it's for the hose. Oh, so but I don't think water comes out of here. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah. we've tested it before. It's it doesn't, okay. yeah, the water doesn't come out of there. We've made it to day six now. I can't believe that everything's gonna be done tomorrow. Tomorrow marks, whoa, tomorrow marks the seventh day. And he said that tomorrow, all the floors and all of that's gonna go in. So we'll show you that tomorrow. But today I thought I'd show you guys what we have so far on day six. So we finally have our outlet covers. So all this looks seamless. His son also came by and helped us clean up this window. This was actually an old window from inside our house and there was just a lot of gunk on it. So they completely cleaned that and it looks like a brand new window right now. Looking good, looking good. The paint we talked about yesterday, they did the paint and now they're just touching up a little bit on the opposite side, which is our garage side. So let's take a look. I actually haven't seen it yet. All right, I think it's done. <laughs> it looks pretty complete to me. So I think they're just cleaning up little bits and pieces around here. The window is nice and painted. I think this room is good to go. Nothing much to say here. It looks beautiful. Hello everyone, welcome to day seven, the final day of our garage flip. And this morning you guys saw that they put in the floors, so the floors are in, they look beautiful. I'll show you guys when they're all done cleaning up. Um, they did the paint, but of course, my picky self, they painted the trim, they painted the door, and I did not love the color. So after two runs to Home Depot, I think we found the perfect shade. So they will be repainting that, but let me just show you what we have so far. So first we have this color. This was the color that we selected on, I believe day three. This is Oxide by Bear. And after the color went on, I think it looks a little too orange, especially with the sun on it. I think it looks a little too bright and I wanted something just a little more muted. So we tried out a few different colors. Let me back up here. All right, so over here, we tried a few different colors. That is the lightest shade. That's the in-between. And then right there, we mixed those two colors together and we have the perfect shade. So that's the color that the trim will be. Because the walls are white, I think the contrast between the bright orange and the white was just a little too harsh. So that would be perfect. And let me give you a quick look at the garage. I mean, it's pretty much done. It's been done since I feel like day four and they're just doing little touch-ups here and there, but it looks beautiful. It looks like a brand new space. I keep saying that, but it really does look brand new, smells brand new. It no longer has that moldy smell in here. I would used to hate coming in here or like bringing my friends in here. I mean, my friends never really hung out in here, but I would like show them my garage because they would ask and I would feel really embarrassed because it just smelled and our clothes are in here, like our winter clothes and all that, you know, old furniture just did not feel good. So now, I'm feeling good. I think this space is gonna be so, so nice to have. These are the paint colors that we're mixing. So in case you guys are interested in the same colors, this is, um, let me see. The lighter one is terracotta clay. And then the darker one is, um, what was that shade called? I forgot. The darker shade is glazed pot. So they mix the two together to get the perfect shade. Here's the door, I believe they're repainting it right now. Oh my gosh, so much better. Once it's all in, I'll give you guys a full tour, but this is what it's looking like right now, so much better than before. 
It is the final day and I know this is the part that we've all been waiting for. It looks so, so nice inside and I love how everything looks. So let's go ahead and take a tour. Starting with the front door, pretty simple outside. We wanted to keep it very minimalist looking and we wanted a pop of color. So we chose like a coral color and I think it looks beautiful. And let's go on in to see what the inside looks like. Ta-da! Welcome to our guest house. First of all, it still blows my mind to think that they achieved this in just seven days. This is my dream guest house and I can't wait to show you guys a little bit more of this space and you'll be seeing it a lot more on the vlog channel too. So I'm really excited for that. So starting off on this side, we have a chase over here. I wanted this space to feel very cozy and comfy and I also wanted this room to have something for my parents or my friends to sit on so that when they come in this room, it's not just the bed or the desk that they can sit at. So very comfortable space over here. I have some blankets and of course I have a little teepee for the dogs. I thought it really matched the decor in here so that's super cute. And let's swing on over onto this side. This part would have to be my favorite part because it looks right out into the backyard. I have my guava tree. It just feels really nice and natural and you get a lot of light as you guys can see. A lot of natural light just pouring in here. And I don't know if you guys remember, but this used to have a really old, like moldy window and it was just gross. And now it's modern, clean, white, exactly how I like it. Also on the opposite side, if you guys remember from the first day, we had an old window there too and it was just really old and moldy, a lot of water damage. So that's all gone, all sealed up. And it's crazy to be in here now because it feels like a complete different space. We didn't even have the wall before. As you guys saw, they completely sectioned off this space and now it feels like its own little private retreat. On this side, I just have a desk. Very, very simple. This was actually just something I already had. So I have a desk here with a little lamp, very minimal decorations on the desk. And I thought this would be great for whenever I'm working here or when my friends visit, they have somewhere to sit in case they want to like journal or eat or anything like that. So let's swing on over to this side. This side, oh, it just makes my heart flutter. And I'm so excited because it has all the tones that I love. I love like desert colors or just anything rusty and warm. So over here on the bed uh, we just have a very simple bed setup as you guys can see queen size bed very comfortable so we wanted to keep this room as bright and airy as possible but still with like a pop of color so I added the pop of color with the bed sheets and I thought it really helped to warm up the space because the walls are just really white as you guys can see and the floors we actually decided to just go with the same hardwood floor that we have inside the house. We wanted this space to kind of feel like an extension of our home versus it being like a standalone thing. So I really like that we went with that. It looks really, really good in here. And I think with the light, it just makes the space look very, very natural and airy. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the renovation process and also the tour. You guys will be seeing this space a lot more in the video. So thumbs up if you're excited for that. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to know about this space. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to our contractor, Greg, and his entire team. His company is called Affordable Quality Construction. So if you guys are interested, he travels literally everywhere in LA. We'll put all his information down below. They do such an amazing job, and this was truly such a fun process because he helped us design, he helped come up with ideas, and he was just so much fun, as you guys can see. He has a really nice sense of humor. So if you guys want to check him out, uh, I'll leave everything down below. They also just started their Instagram, so I'll put their Instagram here on screen if you want to see more of their like before and afters at other places that they work at. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!